Hello guys, in this video we will be reviewing the torture toaster test on the Creality and their 3D Pro. However, these are not the basic settings that come with the printer, I have severely adjusted these and I will leave the settings down in the description below. The printer by default comes with around 60 grams of white filament, however unfortunately I ran out of it halfway through, so you can easily pause the printer and put in a new filament. As you can see, the only issue I had with this printer was the extremely blue screen that you can't really dim at night, so you have to cover it with something. Also, the stepper motors tend to be quite loud, so it is hard to sleep beside it, but other than that, it's an amazing printer for a very, very good price. I used the Cura application in order to slice down my SDL file, which Cura calculated for me that it will take 145 grams as well as the printing time will be one day and nine hours. As you can see here, we're slowly approaching the end of the print. Since this was my first print ever, I was really, really excited to take it off my printer bed and start testing it out. Let's take a closer look. I was extremely happy how the print turned out with all the smooth edges and curves. I really liked the curves on the top and the sides, as well as the printout. It turned out to be very nice. You can see a gentle line going through the toaster, but I think that was probably my attempt trying to save the roll from getting stuck. I have moved around and loosened up all the parts behind the camera, and as you can see, the toast does pop out. It did take a little bit of force at the beginning, but now it comes out quite smoothly. Let's have a closer look at the first wall, and as you can see, the gears work perfectly fine. So, here we're going to begin our first tolerance test. Let me just stick my screwdriver and let's start picking at it. So starting with the 0.5 millimeters, that does indeed go up and down. 0.4, loose as well. 0.3 works. 0.2, perfect. And 0.1 snapped away because of the filament change, but it still works perfectly fine. Let's close it up. Now moving to the second side, let's have a look how the gears turned out here. Yes, perfect, they're turning as well. So here we have the angle test, and as you can see, the left hand side doesn't look too nice. I believe that's probably because of my very poor bed leveling skills, so I'd say if I spend a little bit more time with leveling that bed, it would be perfect. However, the other angles seem to be okay, and the toast does pop out quite nicely. That's pretty much it, let's close it up. I am happy to say that this 3D printer had done its job correctly and it did keep itself with the 0.1 tolerance limit. Thank you guys for watching and keep printing!